it's Corey and Victoria from Trains in the Valley. So, we're back again, and we got a big pile of trains for you today. Good O scale, like well taken care of. Yeah, this guy was a big fan of MTH. A little over 200 items in boxes, locomotives, and freight cars, and a few accessories. Mm -hmm. And that's just the beginning. Part so, one. Definitely there, part one. There will be a couple more throughout the rest of this. We got a ton to look at, so we're not going to waste too much time. Let's check it out. Okay, the first item we have is General Electric 75 foot depressed flat car with transformer. All right, this is a pretty cool car here. I've seen these transformer loads before, but this is a little bit of a longer car than I'm used to seeing that comes through the shops. But yeah, as you can see, we have four trucks on this car. Definitely really neat, and it almost has like an articulated design there. So yeah, really solid car here. Needs a little bit of cleaning, but ultimately it looks great. Again, you can tell this guy took care of his train, so there's the first item. Here we have a Pennsylvania coil car. Really sweet car coming up. Really awesome, number 387004. And we can carefully open these up. Yeah, that's cool. And there are the coils. And then if we look closely there too, we can see it says MTH Club 2004. So this was a, a special car here. You know, sometimes the club cars are a little dull, but this is perfect. Being PRR in our area, this will go over very well. Seaboard gondola with junk load. This is another really cool car. The junk load, that looks amazing. That's really cool. Oh, that's so cool, realistic looking. Mm -hmm. Yep, another solid car right here. Norfolk and Western gondola with LCL containers. This is rugged rails, and you can see the containers. It even has the little uh, the pickups there for them. That's yeah, really neat. And you can also see that there's like foam in between here and everything. But yeah, looks good. Another really nice car here. Next up, we have a Pennsylvania gondola with an I-beam load. First, here we can see the, the I-beams, MTH steel. Shameless promotion. <laughs> That's cool though. Yep, so a nice Pennsylvania car. Again, this is another rugged rails car. So it doesn't have as high detail as the purple boxes, but of course, Still a sharp looking car, especially if you're an O27 person. Now we have another scale car. This is New York Central gondola car with five cement LCL containers. It's interesting, reading the box it said there's five, but I count six, unless I'm going crazy. But it is the accurate number that's on the box, so maybe an actual typo. It's interesting. Yeah, this is a neat car. Massive. New York Central stock car. All right, here's the typical car we're used to seeing. However, this has a gray rooftop to it, so that's kind of cool. I love that. Yeah, usually they're one color, or usually brown to be honest. Oh, and the ends too. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, looks like a nice solid car again, and this is rugged rail, so it's more of an affordable car for O27. And now we have a Pennsylvania stock car. This one's pretty similar, but it has silver on the ends and top. Sliding doors, another nice car. And we have a New Haven. Now this car is really sharp looking. The black and the orange, it really pops. Just really looks nice. So yeah, great condition. Needs a little cleaning here or there. That's gonna be your typical cars that were in a basement for a few years, but still, Looks nice and shiny. All right, now we have a Rail King version of the Pennsylvania stock car. As you can see, still pretty similar. It's a silver top. Yeah, that's nice. Again, just needs a little cleaning here, but yeah, overall looks really good. Pennsylvania steel sided stock car. So this car is a little more unique than other ones. It has livestock service on it, white doors. And again, this is the purple box scale version. So it has that little bit more oomph of detail here. Looks really nice. If you can see the writing on there, 
yeah, another good solid stock car here. All right, Rail King Pennsylvania crane car. All right, this is awesome. So nice yellow scheme here with the Keystone logo. It appears to be in good order. Looks a lot better than the HO old ones that are all of us like in three pieces when we find them in collections. Yeah, this looks great. And we also have like the, the sticks that go inside there. Those are still in the box so that way you can operate the crane. So yeah, looks to be in good shape. And next up we have a matching Pennsylvania crane tender car. Really neat here, and this looks like it has lights to it, so we're going to test that out here. All right, we have light. Looks good. And now we have a Norfolk Southern O-Scale Crane Tender, which you can see this one's much bigger, being actual scale. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> yeah, so we'll test the lights out on this one too. But yeah, looks good. It's wooden. Not really wooden, but you know, the model itself. You can see the planks there. All right, cool. Let's check it out. Okay, and again, we have light. We have a Norfolk Southern O scale crane car. And here's another awesome sight. Looks great in black. Yep, this looks really awesome. So the only thing I noticed here is we're missing the cranking tools. There should be two of them in the box, at least one. So that they might be hiding around the layout. So we'll have to see about that. Otherwise, this guy is ready to go. Okay, next up we have our last crane car. This one is Pennsylvania. Awesome car here. These have a lot of weight to them too. Yep, looks really good. So same deal here, we're also missing the cranking tool. So we're gonna have to wait on these for a moment till we get those tools from uh, the family. It's probably just hiding on the layout somewhere. A simple mistake, I can understand that for sure. Because it's easy for things to get lost in the mess of a train layout. But yeah, I want to point out this one came with it. I think he had this, like it was, like the crane car was holding the piece of track, so that was pretty cool. So I'll throw it in with too. Okay, we have a Pennsylvania rotary snowplow. Wooden sides, nice yellow end there with a headlight. And of course it's a powered unit, so we're gonna check it out. That's really cool. Yeah, I didn't expect it to rotate that fast. That's really sweet. So yeah, it took a moment to get going, but yeah, I can understand anything that's been sitting for a couple of years, it, you know, it needs to wake up a little bit. All right, Jack Frost, PS2 hopper car. This is gonna start our hopper batch. Okay, so this is the white and blue scheme, Jack Frost, cane sugar. So it's a semi-detailed car here. And I see a part on this side that's attached to there. Not sure if that's broke off. I feel like there might be something going on there. It's attached to, it's attached there to the chains. I think it goes in there. Not 100% sure. Still learning the MTH game a little. But this looks good though. All right, Norfolk and Western coal car. Here we have a two bay. It has a load included. Which looks great for what it is. So another solid car here. Rock Island PS2 hopper. Now if I did O scale, this would definitely be on my layout. Oh yeah. Actually, probably a bunch of them. But that's okay, I do HO scale and I got a bunch of these on my layout too. So yeah, they're really cool. I love this scheme. I always did as a kid and still as a big kid, I continue to enjoy it. So there it is. Beautiful condition, Rock Island. Norfolk and Western hopper car with operating coal load. Okay, so this one's a four bay hopper. And as you can see, it's powered. 
or it has power pickup. So this works with their uh, the operating track section. So I don't have one of those set up, but again, trusting as the rest of this collection was, everything is really good shape. It was just ran in within the last few years. So we're gonna make the assumption this guy is good to go. Because condition-wise, it seems good. It's, it's even really clean, the pickups and everything. It's cool, it almost has like a rubbery feel to it. So, if I'm correct with this, when you operate it, this will actually go down so it gives the appearance that it's being unloaded. So that is really neat. Okay, now we have a Redding car. Four bay hopper car. Again, looks good, needs a little cleaning. You know, hopper cars, they're always heavily used. And they're very dirty in real life, so it's okay to have a few spots that need cleaning. We have a coal load as well. And like I've been saying, yet another great car here. This one says that it was used for ore service between Joanna and Bethlehem. So that's just a little side note there. Okay, this is simply called Chessie Hopper, but that simple title might not do it justice. So here we have a four bay B&O Chessie. Looks pretty typical, but I appreciate what he did to it. So we have a custom load, it's on foam, but also the top feels like actual, I'm not sure if it was ballast or coal or what, but it was kind of all glued and spray painted to here. Feels really solid, like nothing's, nothing's going anywhere, but it really has a nice appearance. We're gonna put this guy back in. That looks pretty slick right there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so... Not the mess of ballast flying all over the place, you know? Yeah, that was done the right way. Even though I use live loads, but yeah, I have the mess of ballast flying over everywhere. So, all right, very cool chassis car right here. The Pittsburgh Champion Cold Two Bay Hopper Car. So here's a scheme I've never seen in HO scale before. Although I haven't been actively seeking it, I just... Yeah, this is just the first time seeing this. So there's Champion Coal. Nice black and red scheme here. And the car itself appears to be in good condition. And it has a plastic coal load as well. And there it is. And we have a Perina 2-bay hopper. So this is a PS2 covered hopper. I really like that red bottom. And red top as well. Going strong with the checkerboard theme here. That's pretty cool. So it even says checkerboard square RP, RP FX. It's hard to say. All right, but there it is. Nice Perina car. Looks very clean and ready to roll. Here we have a Rail King New Haven Bay Window Caboose. So it looks great in the New Haven scheme here. We'll test it out as with the rest of the cabooses. There's a guy in there having a cup of coffee, I believe. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So let's put it on the track, see what we get. Like expected, I see light and it looks great. Next up, we have a Pennsylvania Extended Vision Caboose. Okay, here we have Pennsylvania number 472005. And like many of the things, like I've been saying, it appears in great condition. There we have the Keystone logo with the shadow. And also, we have the guy drinking the cup of coffee or whatever. He just, maybe soup. Who mm -hmm. knows? And nice and bright, it lights up. So excellent. Here we have a CNW Bay Window Caboose. This is a really cool scheme, at least by my standards. So this is Union Pacific 21996, but it has the CNW logo on it, as well as the Union Pacific. So yeah, really cool car with silver on the tops and the ends, and the, the bases as well. All right, cool. And let's see, is the guy in there drinking? His beverage. <laughs> yep, there he is. Okay, I thought that was like a rare thing the first time, and apparently all these have that. It's kind of funny. I must have been missing that before. 
it's possible. So we'll throw it on the rails. Okay, and again, we have light. Next up is a Western Maryland offset steel caboose. And here it is, number 1895. So I had to take a moment to look at some old pictures. When we went to Hagerstown, Maryland, they have something similar restored, but it's actually number 1859. And the cab is in the middle, not on the end. So, you know, I knew it looked familiar and I had to check and I was very close number wise, just reversed and a little bit different. But it's been a few years since we checked that out in, in detail. Yeah, we do have to go again. But anyways, here this is, it looks really good. And there's the guy. <laughs> Drinking is a beverage of choice. Okay, and it lights up, excellent. Norfolk and Western offset steel caboose. Okay, here we have number 562747. In the red scheme, and looking good and sharp. All right, we see light, it's good to go. Here we have a redding caboose with the cupola in the center. And this one looks awesome as well. The red and yellow and the brown top just all pops. It looks really nice. So yet again, another sharp MTH car here. Let's see how it lights up. Okay, looks good. Here's the Pennsylvania N6B caboose. I'm not very familiar with this type of caboose. Now granted it is older as we see the wooden planks, but yeah, it's really detailed. You can see the, the lights on the back, the chains, all this detail, that's really neat. I like the style of caboose, it's pretty cool. And there's the guy again. <laughs> they always sneak him in somewhere. And that's pretty cool though. Oh, that's what caboose is for, you know? So it makes sense that there's people in there. All right, let's see how it lights up. Okay, actually I see only the one side's lit up. We had to turn the lights off to see, but yep, looks like we'll need a light bulb for that one. But that's an easy fix for you guys. Okay, here we have a Great Northern Steel Caboose. Yes, this is cool. I love blue. The blue Great Northern scheme is my favorite. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, me too. Oh, I'm gonna turn this brightness up a little bit. Looked a little dark blue, but it's more light blue. Our light was playing tricks on us there for a minute. All right, lights look good. This one is good to go. Here we have a Pennsylvania N5C caboose with a tenna. Now this scheme I'm very familiar with because Bowser makes uh, these in HO scale. So this would be a western region. A little, oh, there's some strings and stuff in there. Oh, well, not a big deal. Cleans right up. Now I noticed a little paint chipping here. In fact, compared to the rest of everything I've seen today, this one, I'm not sure if he got it used because it looks a little rougher. Looks like there's some almost corrosion going on. So it doesn't seem to be the the same uh, stellar detail that we're seeing with the rest of the collection. So that's just something to take into account. However, it's not like everything that ever ran on the rails in real life looks stellar either. So, you know, weathering, paint touch-ups, whatever is needed. Otherwise, I don't see anything that's actually broken on it, so it looks pretty good in that regard. Let's put it on the track, see what it does. Okay, well, the light works. Like I said, maybe this one needs a little cleaning up, but otherwise, it there it is, doing what it should. Texas and Pacific. Okay, here we have a TMP number 2950 in red with the white stripe there. And it looks pretty good. Yeah, this one looks like it was barely ran. All right, let's throw it on the rails. All right, looks good to go. Everything's lighting up good. Here we have a Pennsylvania bobber caboose. I really like this. This is a solid unit right here. It's number 476010. And this is for the Eastern region. Has a nice weight to it for how small it is. Definitely cool. It just needs a little cleaning up, but it looks to be in great condition. 
All right, and it lights up good. Excellent. Western Maryland, number 1250, Bob or Caboose. Now this one, of course, is from the purple box, so a little higher detail here. But the Pennsylvania one looked excellent, actually. Yep, nice and clean. Really cool car here. Yeah, I can feel like there's die, more die cast on this one. Yeah, that's cool. All right, this one looks good. Great Northern Extended Vision Caboose, number X52. So the color, it sits somewhere in between red and orange. Has rocky there, and also on the ends. Okay, even has stripes on it. That's pretty neat. So, yep, let's check it out. All right, lights up good. This one is good to go. Okay, here we have a chassis. Oh, I just realized um, it's misspelled on here. It's C-H-E-E-S-I-E. -E -E. Well, it happens to the best of us. Okay, so let's take a look at this sender, Capola Steel Caboose. At least it's spelled right on the car itself. So this is Western Maryland 1803, and it's a safety car, near-miss program, are you doing your part? It's like a dark green with white, definitely neat. Might have to get one of these in my arsenal for HO scale, even though I'm way past the Caboose era as a modeling modern. Era, but you know, I sneak a lot of stuff onto my layout, like the Chessie Steam Special. We got lights, it looks good. Conrail and 5C Caboose. And it looks awesome. Love that blue. Oh, really cool. Number 23037. And yeah, we got the guy in there. Okay, we have lights. This one. Looks good as well. Erie U.S. War Bonds Steel Caboose. Interesting scheme here. So it says buy war bonds. It's number 04973. And you can see the Erie logo there. Realizing it's red, white, and blue. Which makes sense given the message there. And, yep, there he is. Guy's hanging out. I didn't see him at first. Okay, let's check it out. Yep, lights up and it is ready to roll. All right, well, we've been at it for a while this evening, so we're going to call it a night and get back to this tomorrow. So these are the cabooses that are left, and we still didn't touch everything on this table. So we got plenty of work ahead of us, and then we still have the locomotives coming in a future video. So plenty to do. We just got some... O scale stuff here yesterday from a customer. So we're always busy. We always got something to do.